Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report, where serious researchers come for news insights and commentary about the research world that's impacting them both inside and outside their company. Today, for those of you concerned about validating the identities of survey takers, M4 Mobile Research says it has fingerprint validation for those taking its mobile surveys. And then there is news of the immediate impact of Brexit on market research. Our BDR sponsored today and this week by QOASIS, a self-service marketing research solution designed specifically for market research professionals. It's the only platform that delivers industrial strength, easy to use, unrestricted survey building blocks and for free. And it's powered by the expertise of the 22-year industry organization, Socratic Technologies. QOASIS has no limitations on number of questions that can be asked or the respondent numbers that you want to reach out to. And it can link you to hundreds of online panel providers so you can best target your audience. It can also gamify your survey and provide consulting and analytics. And we'll have more for you at the end of today's report. Ever since the online world became a research haven, critics and concerned observers have questioned whether the identities of those taking a survey were valid. Who are these people and are they people at all? The best many online survey providers could do was to ask a series of screening questions and kind of ask them in several different ways. Not quite a foolproof answer, but the best that could be done at that time. Now comes word from M4 Mobile Research of its fingerprint scanning validation methodology. Explains the business many phones have fingerprint recognition capabilities. And some members of M4's Surveys on the Go panel can sign into the survey app with fingerprints that will validate their actual identities. Now it's not a complete sample result, but it does add some assurance of respondent identities and therefore greater data reliability. Moving on, as the British government moves on its Brexit plans, the first results are in concerning that vote's instantaneous impact on marketing. Actually, marketing budget increases hit their highest level in two years during the third quarter of 2016. Over 26% of senior marketers spent more on their advertising during the quarter. Both of those results were highly unexpected. However, those surprising positives were offset by negative ad spending for public relations, a dip spent on market research, main media advertising, and sales promotion advertising. Confused.com CMO Paul Troy stated that it won't be until probably March of next year until marketing's robustness or lack thereof becomes clear in Britain. He thinks marketing budgets may be stable until Q2 2017, but then he expects a downward shift to take place that he also says will remain in place for quite some time. That's your Research Business Daily Report. We've been sponsored today and this week by QOASIS, a self-service marketing research solution for professionals. The only platform that delivers industrial strength, easy to use, unrestricted survey building blocks, and at no cost. And it's powered by the 22-year year industry expertise of Socratic Technologies. QOASIS happens to be a giant advance in do-it-yourself work. It has no question or respondent number limitations, and it can link you to hundreds of online panel providers who will help you target your key audience. It can gamify your survey, and it can provide consulting and analytics if you need that as well. Socratic Technologies is actually proud to say that QOASIS is where, quote, marketing research budgets get a vacation. So you can take charge, customize your logic with self-service surveys that are a breeze to use. And QOASIS allows you to visualize your survey workflow from a very high level all the way down to details of individual questions. The URL on the screen to my right will take you to the QOASIS homepage. Do yourself a favor, click it and go make a visit. Have a great research day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.